Friday morning at 10 a.m. In case you didn't know, you can probably tell by now, I'm not a morning person at all. I'm not enjoying this. Pretty cold as well. Let me show you where I am. In a small town called Niederkorn, uh, where I was born, where I still live. Quite enjoy coming back here from time to time, not too often. Uh, oh, there's just a little cat crossing the rails here. And let me show you something else. What you can see there in the back, this um, yellow, orangish building. That's where I went to primary school. I think the kids are just on break. The cat is really enjoying my suitcase. Come on, Mitzi. Come on. As you can tell, I love pets. I never was never able to have a pet uh, because my dad is allergic to cats. Just waiting for my train, which should be here any minute, really. And then um, this train will take me to Luxembourg City, uh, from where I will get a train to Mulhouse, where I'm playing this afternoon. We're playing at 4:30 a.m. Uh, p.m. 4:30 a.m. would be a bit early, so we're playing at 4:30. Um, would be good to get a bit of a nap before we play. I'm probably playing a girl I've played many a times. Oh, whoa, 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 where are you going? Where I, it looks like this cat wants to come with me. Oh, so, Gista, Gista, Gista. We'll need to get rid of this new companion shortly. Uh, yeah, so we're playing Milou's the host this afternoon. I'll probably be playing someone called Mathilde Choisy, who I've played many a times. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. Oh. <laughs> some prep on the train um, said earlier I have two likely opponents so I'm just going to have a quick look at both of them maybe get a quick nap lie down, have a shower, do some quick prep and go to the game. I think the main thing here is to be uh, well rested because the time control is so fast. Just uh, 90 minutes plus a 30 second increment per move but no additional time. On move 40, haven't played that time control in a while. So back in the room after game uh, one, I think I did the Russian thing of stopping the bleeding after my three losses from last weekend. Um, I played a rather solid or dull, whichever way you look at it, draw today. I was playing against the girl I expected, Mathilde Choisy. Not too much happened in the game. I tried something new. I played g6 on move one after e4, then followed that up by bishop g7, c6, d5. Um, it was a spur of the moment decision. Basically, I there wasn't much time to prepare. The pairings come out under an hour before the game. And while they knew I was going to be on board too, um, I could. I had three possible opponents. So I'd made up my mind this morning to try this G6. I've never played it before. I'm not sure I'll try it again, but um, yeah, not much happened. I think she wasn't too happy with her position. She just um, swapped the pieces off of the draw. And I think that's okay, given the circumstances, given uh, my result from last weekend and also the fact I am actually quite tired. It's never ideal to travel and play um, on the same day, so I'm not too ha unhappy with the result. I will now just get some rest. Uh, I'm waiting for my roomie. You can see her bed there. I think she'll come back shortly because, unfortunately, I'm looking at the games. Uh, she just lost. 
So I think uh, tonight we're just going to have team dinner and then an early night. Um, I will need it because tomorrow I'm probably playing Sophie Mie again. So the second time in a week after Monday. <laughs> So day two here at the French Women's League and I'm in an extremely good mood. I've just come back from team dinner and uh, the reason I'm in such a good mood is because I managed to beat Sophie Mier and there are two reasons why that makes me so happy. First of all, uh, I've played Sophie many times in the past, I think five or six times and she has always beaten me. I've never even managed to get a draw of her. And the second reason is that um, it felt really good to, to beat an IM, let alone play a, a decent game. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember my last good game. I mean, even this wasn't flawless because I could actually have wrapped things up on move 20. Uh, if you have a look at the game uh, on move 20, I could have played knight d4. And the funny thing is I, I actually saw knight d4. But I thought she could just take with the knight and I stopped my calculation after queen takes h5. And I thought she has knight c2 and I don't have anything. But if I just stop for a second, uh, I might have seen that I could just have taken back on d4 with a completely winning position. So as it was, it was an absolute nail biter. I told you before, the time control here is 90 minutes plus a 30 second increment. And no additional time on move 40. So by the end of it, I could barely play. My hand was shaking so badly. So yeah, big, big relief and a massive win. And not just from a waiting perspective, but I think mostly uh, for me at this point, it was all about getting my mojo back. I've had a bad couple of months, years even. So I feel really good tonight. And um, yeah, three more games to go. The rest of the schedule is quite hectic, actually. We have two games tomorrow. The first one of which starts at 9.30, an extremely early kickoff uh, for my taste. Good morning. Of course, being the poorly organized person that I am, I ended up doing little to no chess work at all last night. So I'm going to uh, look at some lines now and then more importantly, get some nice breakfast. <laughs> Right, quick update on day three before I go and drown my sorrows uh, in wine at the gala dinner. I've just had an absolute disaster, as my friend Ivan Sokolov would say, if I don't kill myself tonight, I'd live a thousand years. I was completely willing. If I don't kill myself tonight, I'm gonna live a thousand years. Um, I just lost round four when at some point uh, I was on plus 12. Uh, this morning was an interesting game. I managed to beat what was my only lower rated opponent of the weekend, but then this afternoon I was playing Filiz uh, Osmandoja from Germany. So here we are, my nightmare of a game. So here my opponent counter blundered. Instead of playing queen d7 with a totally winning position, she took on a4. Why is that a blunder? Because I have this very nice shot. A knight f3, and I thought the game would just be over there. I thought she has to take. And then why is that a draw? Because I have this check on a7. And after king g2, I have this very nice move, rook h2. And after king takes queen f2, there is no way to stop the draw. Uh, instead of that, to my surprise, uh, she played on with king f2. And uh, now what happened is that my brain just basically froze. Um, I played this move, this winning line. Now I missed queen f6. Why did I miss it? I think in my mind that my queen was just um, pinned, so in my mind I couldn't move my, my queen, so I played f3, which is still winning. Um, now I threw in this other check, rook h2, and suddenly after king day 3 I realized, oh hold on, I can go queen f6. Now she has queen c3 and I went on not only to not win this game with a 12 and half advantage, um, I even went on to lose, so a very painful defeat. Uh, if you hover over my name, you can see I started very well.
so, French Women's League is over and it uh, couldn't possibly have ended in a better way. Uh, my team, Vendeuvre, managed to avoid relegation. We won our last two matches and we were underdogs in both of them. So fantastic uh, result for us. I had a great time. Uh, the girls are fantastic, so I'm very happy. I also managed to uh, finish on a personal uh, positive note after yesterday's shocker. I got incredibly lucky today to win my game. I was playing uh, Marlies Benstorp and she totally outplayed me. Um, she managed to get to a position where she was up two pawns. Uh, but then uh, she went astray on move 35 uh, when she played b5 because now I have g5 which generates enough counterplay uh, for me to secure a draw. Uh, but then incredibly it turned out to the next move is just a blunder, queen e6, uh, because I could have just taken her queen and after rook takes uh, I have g6. And I actually saw up until that point in the game but I thought she just has uh, rook e7. And turned out afterwards, when I looked at the game here, I have a rook a1, and suddenly she can't stop me from queening. So that was an amazing line. Um, but instead, I kept the key, uh, queens on the board, trying to find some perpetuals. At this point, I was fairly sure it should be a draw. She was now three pawns up uh, after taking on g5. But uh, her king was just uh, too much in the open. However, she tried too hard to play for the win. Um, she and she blundered on move 41, unfortunately, with um, when she played e4. Because <laughs> um, this time I seized my chance and I played rook b8 and the game is just over. So a very lucky win. Uh, Marlies is a good friend, so I, I felt for her, but such is life. Um, yeah, good for me to finish on a high. Uh, it was a good weekend, first of all, because of the team, but also uh, other than the rating points, I won back. I, as I said before, I think for me it was more important to get my mojo back, my confidence, uh, confidence levels up, and I think I achieved that. So I'm looking forward to my next tournaments now. But first off, uh, as you can tell, I am in an airport. I went straight from the, the French League to Orly Airport in Paris. And I'm headed to uh, Corsica, and funnily the plane you can see right there, that is a, a Corsica plane, might be mine. I'm joining my parents and my brother, they're already there, so I'm just going for a short holiday. I'm really looking forward to it. I soak up some sun, get some sleep, and yeah, that will be good. I'll bring, I will be bringing you more footage from that, so I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon.